So, like the Newton's cradle, the impact of one ball on another produces a compression wave that goes through the ball. Any efficiently elastic material from steel to a rubber ball will do this. I have a really good way to show this by adding a different ball into the mix, a water balloon. I'll also need to show some slow-mo science with the help of Darren, the man who can slow down time, and some help from a fellow science enthusiast named Trevor, a middle school student. It's pretty cool, huh? Very cool. Okay, Trevor, so you saw when we did the Galilean cannon, all those yes. balls stacked up on one top of another. Yeah. So we're going to look at that in an interesting way, because I have a water balloon here, and we're going to use a tennis ball, okay? So actually, you're going to do this. So here, hold sure. this balloon, and you want to stack this on top. On the count of three, I want you to drop it, and we're going to observe what happens to the tennis ball, okay? Okay, okay ready? One, one two. two, three. Drop. There you go. Perfect. So what did you observe? that when you dropped it, the tennis ball shot up. Exactly. Energy. Because all of the momentum from this water balloon was transferred yep. into that tennis ball and shot it right up in the air. Now, Darren has his high-speed camera, so we actually can watch that happen in slow motion. Let's watch it. Whoa. Yeah, isn't that cool? That's like when you go in slow motion. <laughs> Just you, like that. Go. But what's cool about this is that the, uh, the water balloon kind of highlights where the energy is transferred. Mm -hmm. So you see how the ball kind of floats down with it, and yeah. then it sucks in and pushes it away? Well, when you take the balloon and you put the tennis ball on top and you drop it, the energy from the balloon transfers into the tennis ball and shoots it up. It looks like the balloon supersizes the bounce. I thought the demo was very cool, especially the slow motion. So you like science? Very much so, yes. I'm glad to hear that. What's your favorite area of science to study? Probably life science. Yeah, it's important to learn about living. Very family. much so, yeah. Well, I appreciate your help, man. Thank you very, very much. You're welcome.